Aristotle, a famous philosopher from Greece. Timeline, 384 BC to 322 BC. Aristotle is one of the three greatest philosophers of ancient Greece. The other two are Aristotle's teacher, Plato, and Plato's teacher, Socrates. He was one of the greatest intellectual figures of Western history. He is often referred to as the father of logic and the father of science as well. Aristotle was a profound scholar and the range of his studies was extraordinarily wide. He studied and made original contributions in zoology, botany, physics, metaphysics, political science, economics, psychology, ethics, poetics and many more other disciplines. He was the author of a philosophical and scientific system that became the framework and vehicle for both Christian scholasticism and medieval Islamic philosophy. In fact, he spent his whole life teaching and doing research. For about five years, Aristotle was also a tutor to young Alexander, the son of King Philip of Macedonia. Aristotle was born in 384 BC in Stagira in Greece. His father was a physician at the court of Philip II of Macedonia. He took inspiration from his father to make biological studies and by 335 BC, he started writing and commenting on his observations in biology. Both of Aristotle's parents died when he was 13 and he was taken care of by his guardian after that. In 367 BC, when he was about 17, he joined Plato's Academy in Athens as a student of philosophy and remained there studying and assisting Plato in his research until 347 BC. Shortly after Pluto died, Aristotle was invited by King Philip of Macedonia to become a tutor for his son Alexander beginning in 343 BC. In 336 BC, Alexander became king and Aristotle returned to Athens. Upon his return to Athens, Aristotle opened his own school of philosophy called the Lyceum Academy. It was at the Lyceum that Aristotle probably composed most of his approximately 200 works, of which only 31 survive. The surviving works of Aristotle are grouped into four categories. First category is Organon, which is a logical toolkit for any philosophical or scientific investigation. The second category is his theoretical work on animals, cosmology, physics, and metaphysics. The third category documents Aristotle's practical books, notably the Nicomachean Ethics and Politics, that are both deep investigations into the nature of human flourishing on the individual, familial, and societal levels. The final category is his rhetoric and poetics that examine the finished products of human productivity. Aristotle was a great thinker, logician, and scientist all at the same time. He characterized the orientation and content of all that was termed Western civilization. This famous Greek thinker and philosopher died in 322 BC in a place called Chalcis, little, little north of Athens, due to a digestive complaint. About a year before his death, Aristotle had to flee from Athens because his foes accused him of lack of reverence to God. He asked to be buried next to his wife who had died some years before. Aristotle was the first person known to conjecture the existence of a landmass in the southern region and called it Antarctica. The Aristotle mountains in Antarctica have thus been named to honor him for his work in his book named Meteorology. Aristotle is a crater on the moon bearing the classical form of Aristotle's name. I hope you liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when I add more such videos. Bye for now.